how long would it take you to go from your office to your house if this checkpoint were open? Three minutes, maybe. Shafika Durduran is a Turkish Cypriot. She lives in North Nicosia, but occasionally crosses the buffer zone to peer through the windows of her childhood home in the Greek Cypriot controlled Republic of Cyprus. Her family left in 1958 when a Greek Cypriot neighbor warned her mother that they weren't safe. He told her, Lady, please take your children and go away because somebody not from our area came here and asked us to point to Turkish Cypriot uh, houses and uh, families. Durduran feels that the buffer zone was an answer to the violence and political passions of another era. The clocks here stopped in 1974, when a Turkish invasion of North Cyprus cemented the division. Nicosia's airport managed to get a few flights of panic-stricken residents out. This Trident aircraft was strafed before it could taxi away. It too has been swallowed in the silence of the buffer zone. Cypriots are making their third attempt in a decade to reunite the island and do away with this barrier. And the discovery of offshore hydrocarbon deposits has helped fuel this latest round of talks. But the presence of a Turkish oil prospecting ship in Cypriot controlled waters has now outraged the government here and stalled negotiations. The UN Special Assistant for Cyprus was in Nicosia on Thursday, where he met both the Cypriot president and Turkish Cypriot leader. The Turkish Cypriot leaders, Mr. Rolu and, and Mr. Anastasiades, both agree that uh, hydrocarbons will be a part of the, uh, the shared future uh, of a united Cyprus, and it will be a federal level competence. But many are growing impatient to see that future now. Those who lived through the war are often against reunification because both sides have suffered. But when you get to a certain age, you have to think rationally about what's best for the future of the country. And you have to say it's best for both communities and the whole country for us to live together. To Cypriots like Theodoros, the wall is a false security, dividing people no longer afraid of each other. John Seropoulos, Al Jazeera, Nicosia.